In Lab 4, you will be performing virtual experiments using a circuit simulator. In this lecture, we'll discuss a few tips on how to use the simulator. Before you can get started, you will need to download the simulator using this URL. Be sure you use this specific sim simulator entitled Circuit Construction Kit AC-DC Virtual Lab. You must have Java installed to run the simulator. Some tips on how to install Java are given in another video lecture. Let's start by showing how to set up this circuit, which contains an energy source, an EMF, and three identical resistors. One resistor in series with the parallel combination of the other two resistors. When you open up the simulator, this is what you should see. We construct the circuit by clicking and dragging elements from the menu on the right side into the working space. We'll first grab all the elements, the EMF, which is a battery, and then the resistors, and place them in the working space. By right-clicking on the ends of the elements and dragging, we can reorient the elements as we like. Now let's wire things up, grabbing wires from the right menu. Notice the wires can be stretched by dragging the ends. Notice that when the ends are, are placed near the end of an element, the they connect up. Now if you make a mistake in connections, you can just place your mouse on the mistaken connection, right click to break the connection, and then reconnect it the way you like. Finally, notice that when you make the final connection to complete the circuit, the circuit begins to operate. The small blue balls represent the electrons, and they start to move when the circuit is connected. To make measurements, you can use the virtual instruments on the right menu. To measure potential differences, we use the voltmeter. You place the probes at two different points in the circuit. The voltmeter reads the potential difference between the two points. Note that the sign of the meter reading tells us about the direction of the potential difference. When the red probe is placed at a point that is at a higher potential than the point where the black probe is placed, the meter reads a positive potential difference. If you switch the placement, the sign changes on the meter reading. To measure current, we use an ammeter. The ammeter must be placed in the circuit to make readings. You do that by breaking connections in the circuit, inserting the ammeter, and reconnecting. Now notice you can start and stop the operation of the entire circuit using the pause play button at the bottom. This is particularly useful if you want to do timing in the circuit. Click and drag the stopwatch into the working space. Now hit pause. You can see the circuit stop, the electrons stop flowing. Now if you hit start on the stopwatch, nothing happens until you hit play and the stopwatch starts timing as the circuit starts up. Let's now set up another circuit. This is an energy source, an EMF, with a capacitor. You'll find this circuit useful to charge a capacitor that you will use in your lab studies. First, let's clear our workspace. We do that by hitting the Reset All button on the lower right. Now, let's create and wire up our capacitor to the battery.
Now notice we can read the parameters of any element by right clicking on that element. So for example, we can read the capacitance of the capacitor by right clicking and selecting the change option. We see the default capacitance is 0.1 farads. Now before we start the circuit, notice the capacitor plates are uncharged. Now notice once we hit the play button, the plates charge up. We can disconnect the capacitor and it remains charged. We can discharge it by clicking the reset dynamics button on the lower right. That's all the tips for now. This should be enough to get you started with your circuits lab.